because you guys and girls and people deserve better than that take one I was just fumbling through. First off, I was joking about the concept of just leaving the mic on my ample chest and saying it was some kind of hug roleplay, but then I went on about people needing hugs and not wanting to joke about that, and then, of course, I took it into a super intense emotional place of the world's on fire and yada yada, but then I tried to bring it back to weird days. Initially, that concept kind of shoved me at the microphone and weird days, right? Some days feel like they're a blink from waking till sleep, and some days feel like they are 47 years long, right? Some days it's like you wake up and you rush around and do a bunch of things, and you barely take time to breathe, shoving food in your mouth, and trying to brush your teeth at the same time, trying to maximize potential and then get to sleep as soon as you can because you have something even more important the next day. And that type of day can pair with one of those days that's 50 years long. You wake up and then it feels like an era has passed since you slept. You have those? As you like. When I was a kid, I used to listen to these cassette tapes with all these Bible stories and songs. Shout out to anyone that used to listen to Patch the Pirate, Salty the Songbook, and a number of others. For anyone wondering, that's Veggie Tales before Veggie Tales were really a thing way before. <laughs> bedtime cassette player sung me to sleep when I had horrors in my heart. Horrors with R's and H's. As far as I know, I didn't have horrors in my heart. I wasn't judging people. Back then, I was having lots of trouble figuring myself out. Maybe it's those long days that make us more judgmental. And those weird days come through between the long and the short, and even the average. You have those weird days where you feel like maybe time stopped for six hours, and you really, you really get into a place mentally that you don't normally go. Maybe you meet a stranger or have a conversation with someone that isn't entirely terrifying or bad. And then time passes abnormally as if the universe was giving you a chance to step up and change a little. Maybe more towards a center point, maybe more towards novel that's high fantasy. It means it's dense and there's a lot of rules I'm making up on the spot and everything and it's gorgeous and my wife says she's looking forward to that one the most. As I doubt you've been to my website but over at kellyandmustdie.com I posted a thing uh, yesterday I think about how I'm writing f at least four novels right now because it's one of the few things that I can really wrap my head around besides parenting and putting my clothes on. <laughs> I put my clothes on before I parent, just FYI, but recently there was some debt. <laughs> I'm getting sleepy. That's good. Recently there have been some changes, and I've been parenting harder and more, and I have been doing my absolute 
absolute best. Even those days. Re-educating my mind with who my kids are and who they've become. It's different. It's weirder than it used to be when they were smaller. When I look back a decade, things made a sort of sense. And when I look back another decade, things make more and less. But man, the complications. For the true ASMR heads out there, the complications. so much less apparent. What was then crawling on a spider web in a child's cartoon now is like crawling along a spider web wrapped in five more very carefully hung spider webs and I'm trying not to fall through any of them, get hamstrung or get hung myself. And the oddity here is you don't know I'm disabled. I don't go to work. I literally just get worried about breathing. But a lot of people have like the regulars that they see every day. And I don't have even those for the most part. And I'm still here right now three in the morning, whispering about terror again. And I've had a couple of people give me solid advice about trying not to be so nonsensically afraid. Just to be myself. For what it's worth, learning about being a man has been a weird fascination of mine the last few months. As if I haven't really been one, and no, this isn't going anywhere. Problematic. <laughs> I just wanted someone at some point to put their hand on my shoulder and say, Stephen, you have become a man, and my dad didn't get around to it. And, and I guess that verbatim way, right? I got a, I'm proud of you, like one and a half times, maybe two before he passed, and that's really valuable to me in a weird way, but I never got the you're a man. Not at 18, not at 21, not at any time thereafter, and partially that could be my fault for not seeking out a closer relationship with my parents. But now that they're both past, I will never get that chance. I will never get that hand on the shoulder moment. And I've come to realize that's okay, and I've seen other people in a similar position have to tell themselves, I am an adult now. I am free to make my choices, my decisions, and do the things that I need to do in any direction I so choose, and although I have felt that way free to make choices and assist or destroy my life as I wanted, I really, I call it big, big brother uncle syndrome, I'm always hunting for someone to look down upon me and say, hey kiddo, you're almost there, do you have that? If you feel that, I don't want to say write it in the comments, right? That's the thing that people do to try to get algorithmic yada chutzpah, right? Um, but feel it maybe right now. If you feel what I'm feeling, take a second and feel it. We're on this world together. And in that way, at least morning, this afternoon, this evening, whenever you see this, 
You are not alone. Going back to weird days, I think they exist, perhaps on a off-temporal plane, <laughs> like the mysterious concept in fiction of the eighth day of the week that's hidden from people. Weird days kind of break up the monotony of the work hard and sleep days and the weird days where you rest and work back and forth a hundred times, which feels like you've lived a year. And the weird days, man, they just stick out so wide and deep for a moment, at least. You might forget the hard work days. You might let go of those long days that have so many ups and downs because it's almost hard to remember what they're like in the first place. 